Hello, this is Stampy Longnose and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video and what a beautiful day it is in my lovely world right now and it's a perfect day for a little spot of golf and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. I am by myself for the first time it seems like in a very long time uh, but no one wants to play with me uh, so I'm here inside my lovely world by myself uh, dressed up as a cat as I seem to always be at the moment and oh there's a sheep, I'm going to get the sheep. Anyway yeah so in this video I am going to be heading straight to my... What's Oh, that was that, so he put that sign there. Um, I think that was Longbow put the sign there, or no, Breadstick, Breadstick put the sign there. One of them two put the sign there uh, to warn me about my love garden. I think I'll leave that there as a, a memento from one of them videos. Anyway, yeah, sorry as I was going to say, I'm going to go to the uh, golf course in this video and I'm going to play the first hole, which you might have seen me build in my last uh, video. I've also built another hole since then. And in this video, I'm going to be building my third hole. So hopefully my golf course by the end of this video will look a little bit more like an actual golf course rather than just one or two holes. And I'm very conscious that there's a creeper over there because uh, that's where we're going to be heading. So yeah, I'm going to watch out for that. But first, uh, as always, I'm going to go grab a dog to companion me. To companion me? To be my companion uh, in this uh, golfing journey and in this video I've actually got a very specific dog which I'm going to take and he's over here he's the shy dog over in the corner and if you don't know who this is this is Gregory Jr. Uh, this is the long lost son of my once favorite dog Gregory who you may know got killed by a skeleton uh, in one of my early videos but that's his son and he's going to be accompanying me and he's actually going to be staying at the golf course and keeping guard of it uh, because the hole I'm going to be building in this video is actually going to be themed as like a dog uh, house kind of thing. Uh, a bit like here. And you'll see that later on. Uh, I've also got a new dog called Oreo, uh, who was basically to replace Guilty Bark, who got uh, murdered by a zomb uh, zombie not very long ago. Okay, now I'm going to watch out for that creeper. And I'm going to head over here and try and get safely to my golf course. And there's a creeper right there wait waiting to ambush me. <laughs> oh, no. I would attack it, but I don't want to blow up all my... Like, my lovely path here and stuff. Um, right, let's lure him away. Let's get him into the water. And then hopefully he won't do very much damage. Gregory Jr., you just stay away. You stay out of this dog, alright? <laughs> I don't want you to have the same fate as your dad, right? Oh my god, it's gonna it's gonna kill me, isn't it? It's gonna kill me, if not my dog. Um, hit it. Oh no, 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 no! Gregory Jr., is he alive? Please don't be dead. Ooh, if he died, I think that might have been my new record for killing a dog in a video. Luckily, I've prepared uh, for such an event and brought some poor chocks with me ready. Uh, maybe I should have brought some more, but sorry about that, Gregory Jr. I actually got a comment from someone. I can't remember who it was. Uh, sorry, I wish I did remember because I could have given you a shout out. But someone basically commented saying that every time I go to my dog house, all the dogs are there probably thinking like, please don't pick me, please don't pick me. Because like every time I pick a dog, they never return because they <laughs> normally get killed in some ways. <laughs> Minecraft dogs are so stupid though. Seriously, they find any single way to kill themselves. And what the hell did I just hit? Did I just hit Gregory Jr.? Oh, oh no, come back, come back, come back. Oh no, he's still hurt. I need to get some more pork chops from somewhere. Tell you what, tell you what, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. I really don't want Gregory Jr. to die. So I'm going to head quickly back into my doghouse and use my vending machine uh, to go and try and get some more pork chops for him. I'm not, I'm not in the mood to lose another dog. <laughs> I've lost enough, okay? I know I'm the worst dog owner in the world and I'm going to be good today. I'm going to be safe, uh, as safe as I can be in Minecraft anyway. And I'm going to feed up Gregory Jr. well and make sure that his... Uh, He's a very happy dog. And if you don't know how to tell uh, the health of a dog, it's simply by how high their tail is. So if they've got a droopy low tail, you know that uh, they've probably gone slightly close to one too many creepers in their time. Okay, now, so finally, I'm going to head over to my golf course and I will do my standard update of how my theatre is going and update of my love garden. But Gregory Jr., please, please stop. Oh, no, right, that's it. You go first. You take that minecart, Gregory Jr. I'll take the next one and I'll meet you halfway, okay? Come on, come on. Just just need to get to that power rail. And he's off. <laughs> Look at his legs and like tail flailing around like, help, help. Luckily, I have some spare minecarts here and I'll go after him. Hopefully he's not coming back and I'm going to bang into him midway or something. <laughs> I have so much fun with dogs and minecarts. There he is, waiting patient for me like a good boy. Oh, don't hit me back, don't hit me back. There we go. <laughs> that was kind of fun, actually. <laughs> right. Okay, hopefully uh, I can just take this one slightly less eventfully and he'll just sort of teleport after me. So yeah, as I said, the the theme of the hole I'm going to be building in this video is going to be of like a doghouse kind of thing. Basically like a tunnel uh, that you've got to throw the ball, well, snowball under. And so yeah, I just thought that was a kind of cool little thing. And if you actually got any suggestions for um, 
what theme I could have for like my golf course in terms of specific holes, uh, then please let me know because I don't really know what I'm doing that well. But I'll show you what I've changed since the last video. This is the completed first hole and this is a hole which I added afterwards. We can see this sort of like a little bit of a dip down. You've got to try and get it in there. And something else that I've added, if you listen carefully as the ball goes in, ding! I've added a little ding sound just so that extra sense of satisfaction when you, it goes in. You can get a nice little ding. And don't get in the way, Gregory. Oh, good boy, he moved. Okay, so, and then this is the next one, which is a par three. Uh, but you can pretty easily do it in two throws, I say. But I'm probably going to muck this up now. You can kind of throw it over there. And you get it down to about here. And basically the way you've got to do it, uh, you've got to stand wherever the ball landed. So say if I got the ball to here, I've got to throw the next one from there. And ding, I get that one in. And all the ding is, is basically a little redstone trail goes down to a note block, uh, which is under here somewhere. And I tried for so long to get this in in a hole in one. Because I figured that if I can just throw it over that orange one, I could get it in in one. But oh no, did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, I don't think it goes far enough. Oh well. Yeah, and you can also throw it like this way and get it to there, then throw it. And it's a pretty easy hole. These first ones are like the training holes. These are the holes for the noobs. These aren't the advanced holes, the ones that I'm going to be building later on. And so, yeah, let's get straight to work on this one. Um, so, as I said, it's basically going to be a straight trail here. And then there's going to be a doghouse, like, as a tunnel, which you've got to throw it through. And I'm just going to make Gregory Jr. sit for now. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep smacking him with my spade. So, yeah, uh, I have like a straight trail bit uh, along here. I'm actually going to do the edges out of just uh, smooth stone, just so it doesn't all look like dirt, because you can sort of see through ice slightly. It looks kind of ugly when you just got dirt there. So I'm going to add um, yeah, stone along the side there, and this little dip is where the um, where I'm going to have to put the water. I'm actually going to go one under as well, just so I can put smooth stone underneath. And I'm not going to bother adding like the note block or the redstone in this video, because that's a bit like a bit boring and laborious. And the reason why I've come straight here to do this. Uh, before building anything else is because I want to have time for this to freeze the water while I go back to show the theatre and stuff and then hopefully at the end of the video this would have all frozen and I can actually play the hole properly so uh, I reckon I have two blocks and then have the doghouse around about here which will uh, be pretty similar to my actual entrance to my doghouse basically like a little tunnel with some stairs on top so I guess something like this I, th I think three would be enough hopefully it'll be able to slide under that <laughs> let's do a bit of bit of trial and error hopefully this will work if not i might have to just redo it and that's no big issue and oh i placed the stairs wrong i always place stairs wrong i don't know why maybe it's because i'm rubbish at minecraft that would explain it <laughs> if you don't know the, the stairs go in whatever direction you're facing but i'm sort of trying to do this quickly and i failed big time so yeah please do suggest themes for other holes that I could do. I was thinking of doing one which was suggested by someone called Littlewood, uh, who's one of my subscribers, and he suggested doing one like a cobblestone castle, like a little mini castle, and I could do like a little drawbridge with like a piston going up and down. I think that could be quite cool, so that might be uh, the next hole, but I do want more uh, extravagant things like in the future as well, like maybe a rocket ship or something. The problem is it's so hard to do things in Minecraft, like if you're doing something, unless it's massive, it's so hard to add like any kind of detail to it. So it'd be good to have ones that it's really obvious what it is without you having to say, oh, it's this, you know, squint your eyes and it kind of looks a bit like it. <laughs> Just sort of open what you're going to do in Minecraft. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shove my water down straight away. Hopefully having that kind of bridge there won't muck it up at all. So hopefully some of this can start uh, freezing immediately. So you throw it through there and I'm actually going to have... Um, Gregory Jr. sitting on just like a little patch uh, round about here as kind of just like another obstacle. So you're going to have to throw the snowballs over the dog or around him or maybe throw it to him for him to catch. I don't know. Can dogs... I wish you could play like fetch in Minecraft. That's what Mojang needs to do in the next Minecraft update. Allow you to be able to play fetch with your dogs. That'd be so much fun. Um, okay, so the ball would come out to about here. So if I have like a, a bigger area like here, then have the dog in the middle of this. This makes sense so, yeah, This makes sense in my head. It might not to any of you. And why did the water disappear? Oh, it froze. Oh, there we go. That's good. Okay, well, one bit's frozen. You've got to start somewhere. <laughs> this might take uh, longer than I planned. I might actually just shove another bit of water down in case that freezes. Okay, so... I mean, it'd be good if I had creative mode because then I could literally just place the ice, but there is something nice about having to do everything by yourself. 
I am looking forward to the next Minecraft update. I mean, I don't think I'm going to spend much time in creative mode because, like, although I do enjoy building, like, the whole mining aspect and gathering the materials, I just, I find that whole thing fun. And one of the things that I liked about the Xbox version before, like, people found out about the whole duplication glitch in that is the fact that you knew everything someone built. They literally did build it. They didn't use any mods to help them. They weren't flying around and they had to gather all their resources. I kind of like the idea of that. And now they've got the duplication like glitch and they're going to add creative mode. It sort of doesn't have that sort of specialness of um, <laughs> the fact that like it's um, like all made by hand and not sort of using like help. But oh well. I mean, you do. You, I mean, there's things that you could create using creative mode, which you could never in a million years be able to do not using creative mode. And I think for that, it's good. Like, you can never build a tower out of diamonds unless you've got creative mode. And I suppose that, I don't know, that, that probably is a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> right, so I think I have the actual hole. Um, I have the actual hole there. So, yeah, the hole, the hole would have to be like there, wouldn't it? So, no, 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 no that was right. Okay, so if I just let this all fill in with ice and then I do the other one. So the dog will be sitting on here and then the ball will come to here and you've got to throw it around and try and get it into the hole over there. I think that that would do, won't it? Is that alright? Actually, I might just extend this whole thing out one more then it would be like a little bit more symmetrical. Actually, no, that, that's okay. I'm happy with that. Let's, let's, let's not be fussy. I'm on a schedule here and I've noticed that it's getting dark and uh, I'm not on peaceful mode as, as you saw with the creeper at the beginning of this video. So I just want to chuck down as much water as I can and then I'm going to dash back and try and go to bed uh, before I get killed by something nasty. <laughs> so let's be as quick as I can. I don't want to do all this work and turn around and have a creeper ruin all my hard work. And Gregory Jr. has been a very good boy sitting there behaving. So I have to make sure I give him a treat a little bit later on. I worry about adding like smooth stone underneath it like later on. I mean, as long as I get the water frozen and you actually got the ice there, it's easier to work around it. Right, I'm just going to place these last three buckets down of water and then I'm going to go to bed. And then hopefully by the time I've come back, the majority of it's frozen. Because I'd like to be able to play it um, before the end of the video. That'd be quite good. And so what I think I might do in terms of the future is... Like, every video, build one hole, but I've, like, also built a hole before that video, if you know what I mean. So I can show you a hole I built, not in a video, and then make another one. Because it's going to take a while to fill this area. There's quite a lot of stuff. And I'm quite looking forward to showing you uh, what I built in my theatre as well. Because I've done quite a big update with that. Pretty much the interior is almost completely done. And i basically just got to finish off the roof and I've got to add a few more rooms and stuff. But in terms of the main stage room like the big actual theatre room that's almost completely done so I'm quite looking forward to uh, showing that off to you all and seeing if you like it okay so that should do for now that should all start freezing over and I'm going to take Gregory Jr uh, back with me now and I'm going to go and have a little nap and come back here in the morning and uh, hopefully some of it will be frozen okay right where's my minecart I love riding minecarts. It's just such a simple pleasure. And the fact that you can place it yourself and you sort of make your own little track. And oh my god, look at all those googlies. Bloody hell. Don't, blow, don't hit one. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Oh my god. This is like a ghost train. <laughs> I did not expect that many of the spiders and stuff. You know, like fun fairs, ghost trains when like you turn around and like something will jump out of a cupboard. That was terrifying. Okay, let's be as quick as I can. I'm actually just going to sleep in my igloo. No, I won't. No, I won't because I'm going to show the theatre. Please don't get killed by something. Oh, look at all of them. It's like Googly's Island over there. And there's... Oh, my God. There's a creeper right there. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Get back. Get back. Get back. No, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm crouched. My dog's getting hurt. Gregory Jr., get in. Please don't have a repeat of Gregory. Please don't get shot by an arrow. There's two dogs. Why is there two dogs? Oh, my God. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I can hear so many stuff by me. Right, sorry, I just need a breather. Whew. Bloody hell, that was intense. <laughs> I don't know how nothing got blown up then. I literally just like shook hands with a creeper and it just didn't blow up. That was bloody terrifying. And I didn't really swear. I don't know if bloody isn't really a swear word. So you got to, I'm British, I'm allowed to say bloody. And yeah, I didn't have to update my swear chest. And Gregory Jr. seems to have duplicated. I don't know if one of the other dogs were inside the doghouse and charged out to my rescue, but I need to have a sleep after that. Whew, I need to relax and regain my composure. I'm, I'm shaken up. <laughs> Note to self, go to bed before it gets dark. It's the first rule of Minecraft. When it gets dark, go to bed, otherwise you're going to get blown up or shot with an arrow in the face. 
I was risky and I wanted to freeze my water and I stayed up and I was reckless and I paid the price. Actually, I didn't pay the price. I got off pretty lucky with it. Okay, right. Well, I've got two dogs following me now, so hopefully my bodyguards will help me out. And whoa, well, they're just charging my face. So I'm just going to have a little a little sweep for creepers because they're my, my big concern. I can deal with dying. I can handle getting killed by something, but I just can't handle any of my buildings getting destroyed. Okay, we seem to be pretty creeper free. So before I go into the theatre, I'll show you who's new to the Love Garden. I've actually got a few people. I think I think the Corrupt might be new. No, the Corrupt isn't new, but you've got another free shout out there. Uh, Rosie's new, who's actually one of my personal friends, and she basically forced me to add her as a sign. Uh, so Rosie833, shout out to you if you're watching this video. Welcome to my Love Garden. Uh, Master Davros Blogs, who was already in, but I think I moved him from somewhere else. So another free shout out for you. Uh, Andy Megatron, uh, welcome to my Love Garden. And over here... Uh, Wreckers is new, uh, Rude Boy Coffee is new, Unliving Clock 8, Reachers and Sticky Neptune. And all these people uh, were people that were in one of my videos recently. I did a video where I was going through and basically replying to messages that had been sent. And in all of them, um, they sent some nice messages and stuff. So I thought I'd add them to my love garden and give them an extra little shout out uh, here. Okay, so this is the new uh, redesigned lobby. You can see that the toilet which was here has been moved and replaced with a souvenirs stand. Uh, and over here is a concession stand. I might sort of decorate this area a bit more. But I think this way it doesn't look as cramped as it uh, like once did. And the toilets are now instead added to here. So this is the ladies toilet, which uh, has actual proper looking toilets and a zombie. Uh, is there a zombie in one of these? I think there's a zombie like through one of these walls. I need to put some torches there. They're really loud. Uh, and over here will be the gents toilet. I need to put up a sign saying, but it's pretty much exactly the same. And I also need to add a sink in both these toilets, but I think this just sort of is a nicer layout, not having it all cramped in there. And you'll see that these corridors through here um, are a bit empty and bare, but I'm gonna add some posters and some paintings and stuff, sort of like advertising future shows. And it all leads out into here and a quick sweep for creepers seem to be okay and this is what the the theater will kind of look like inside uh, these are what the seats look like i couldn't do like proper seats with signs because signs actually take up an entire block uh, so if i had a sign on either side they'd have to be like chair gap gap chair gap gap and it'd look really empty uh, so i kind of did it like this and i think it looks okay it looks kind of seats like and oh my god those zombies are really bloody loud um, yeah, and I've got some royal boxes or just some like private boxes up there for all of the fancy pants people They can sit up there and watch the show from the best vantage point uh, This is the stage. I've just got a black backdrop at the moment uh, I might redesign that with different sets and stuff and down here is my little trap door I will have tunnels leading off either side here. Whoa, there's a dog uh, tunnels leading off either side there to sort of backstage area and down here is where the music pit will be. So I have a jukebox and some note blocks and stuff down here. And all right, dog. Um, so yeah, we can play music during some of the shows. Uh, backstage is completely not done yet and covered in snow at the moment. Uh, so this is where like the dressing rooms and stuff are going to be. Um, no roof, obviously. That's going to be the next thing I'm going to add, basically because it's really annoying every time it snows, it fills up. And even though it might be nice watching the show like under the stars, I think I really do need to add a roof to my theatre at some point. I've been putting it off because I think it will actually be one of the most difficult things uh, that I'm going to be adding to it. Also, I'll quickly show you what it looks like upstairs. Uh, this is just sort of another little lobby area. Uh, these stairs lead to the, um, the top like row of the tiered seating. And there's two tunnels on either side. This is just symmetrical to the other side, uh, which leads here to the royal boxes. And this is what they look like. And you can kind of stand up here and you can sort of have the best view of the stage down there. Uh, so this is what the interior of the theatre is pretty much going to look like. I'm going to have to add my roof in that at some point. But in terms of the way it's looking inside, I'm kind of happy with it. Uh, let me know what you think. If you've got any suggestions of how I could improve it or if your think is absolutely amazing, just let me know and put a smile on my face. <laughs> I need those ego boosts every now and then. And the lights up here still aren't working. After longbows and breadsticks attempts of fixing it, I've decided that I'm going to do it myself and I'm going to try doing it with like a minecart, which is sort of going to go around and light them up. And I might actually try doing that in a video. Uh, so that might actually be in the next video. Uh, I'm also going to be playing through a Hunger Games map soon, which someone's downloaded from the PC. Uh, so there's something else you can look forward to in the future. Uh, but apart from that, uh, there's not really much to show you 
uh, that's been updated. So the final thing that needs to be done is for me to head back over to my golf course and hopefully all of that water's frozen. But I'm going to leave one of my dogs here because I don't want them both to die. So uh, Barnaby, you can stay sitting there. I've decided that that was Barnaby running to my rescue. And um, yeah, Gregory Jr., come back with me and hopefully... Uh, everything will be frozen over and I can have a little quick go in all of my stuff. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that loot. All of the things that burnt by my front door that were trying to get in. I can't believe what happened last night. That was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Every time I turned a corner, there was just another googly just like, hey, gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, right. Let's let's head back over here then. Oh, dear. Sorry, I've, I realize I've been speaking very quickly in this video as well. I'm trying to keep the length of my videos down to sort of around the 20 minute mark. So instead of trying to do less in my videos, I try and do the same amount, but just speak really quickly and <laughs> muck up half my words. Isn't a very good trait for a, uh, a YouTube commentator, I suppose. Okay, so hopefully it's frozen. I got a strong suspicion that it won't have all frozen because that would just be a little bit too convenient. What? Like, like hardly any of it's frozen. I think you might actually have to be like close to it, like to wait for it to freeze. So, I don't know, and I'm not sure when there's got these streams, if like that takes longer for it to freeze. And uh, Gregory Jr., I wouldn't go in there, that water is very cold. I think he's going to go to his little his little perch. Go on, go on, go up on that little purple bit. Come on, Gregory. Gregory Jr., come on up here. Send that. No, oh, nearly. Nearly. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to just like completely freeze in there with just his paws and his tail sticking out. <laughs> there, go on, shake it off, shake it off. Okay, well, it looks like it's not gonna gonna freeze in this video, so I suppose in my next video I can come back here and I will try it out and see if it is actually uh, a good hole. And yeah, so that pretty much ends it for this video. As I say, please do suggest anything that you want me to build in the future uh, in terms of other like holes I could do for my golf course or just sort of any other ideas like in general that you think would be good for me to build. If you want to be in my love garden, uh, then you need to leave a comment below and I'm just going to pick my favourite comment, either a comment which I think is nice or just one that makes me laugh or something, and then I'll be able to add you to my love garden. If you simply comment saying, please add me now, uh, unfortunately I won't add you because my love garden would simply uh, completely run out of room. But I realise that I'm now just rambling on at the end of this video. So I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you later. Bye.